chunk of cedar, a bunch of those colorful, you can see them down there, ribbons that, you know, basically just vanish in there. Uh, you know, it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> so we're going to see what we can come up with because it seems everybody wanted me to do this. So we're going to do it. I expect a lot of air pockets, which I can see quite a few in here. Let's see if I can repair them. <clears throat> okay. Look at that. <laughs> so, so. I can't even get it to come out of there. It'll get melted right off the bottom of that. All right, well. You can see that was kind of a pink that you can't see it because it just disappears. Um, this is what happens. <laughs> But we'll see what it looks like when I get it done. I'm not quite positive. There's some wood, so it must have been part of whatever that was in there. That looks like there was some moisture in that cedar that's in there. We'll get this, uh, as you can see, we're not real straight here. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, I wonder if that's dull. So I'm going to go over and put a new edge on that. And we'll get to trying to straighten that out some. Yeah. It smells really good in here <laughs> all right well yep that's going to take me a minute as you can see we're only touching there and there and that's it mm -hmm. That big old crack right there. I don't know how much of it I'm going to be able to clean up. We're going to try. Hopefully I can make that go away. We will see, won't we? Look at that big old chunk coming off. It's pretty, but I sure hate working with it. It's brittle. <laughs> Thank you. 
I can stay out the way. Look at that, you can't even see. <laughs> Let's see what movie over here or something. There you go. Maybe you can see it from there. All right, so <laughs> I expected all these holes and cracks. It's throwing chunks really bad. Uh, I cracked it when I put it in the chuck. That's why I hate working with cedar. <laughs> Because, you know, I overdid it and cracked it. So what I'm hoping is, is I can get it to stay on here. I'm going to put the resin coat on. I'm hoping it'll go down inside of that and seal that up. I don't want to use CA glue. Because I'm afraid it'll discolor it. Uh, so I'm hoping the resin will sink in, absorb in, and we can fill that with resin and hold on to it. The only reason I'm not repairing it with CA glue is because it'll leave that line. And it, it's just ugly. So I'm not pushing on this real hard. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to kind of skip through this. You know, you're not going to watch me take this whole thing down because I'm not pushing that hard. <laughs> it's going to take forever. So let me get this down. We'll, we'll jump in here halfway through, quarter way through, something like that. We'll do a few passes. We'll get a shape to come back, sand it, and then get some resin on this. And hopefully it looks okay. Uh, I mean, I can still see some colors in it. We won't actually... Oh, it's still going to come down. That's flat. Uh, the only thing I can really see is the... What was that? Oh, it was choke cherry. <laughs> There's a choke cherry ribbons in there from when I drilled the hole, this hole, on that other project, the stained glass project. So that, that's the only thing I can really see prominent. I mean, you can see the colors here, but you can't. Ah, you might be able to see them. Well, no, I don't know. <laughs> It might actually look better than what I thought. Um, can't really see it too well with that light's not helping. Let's see if we can see it down here. Maybe we can see what I'm looking at right there. Possibly. Still kind of washed out. But anyways, it actually looks like there's quite a bit of color in here. Uh, a little bit of wood right here and here. There's orange and blues and purples. And the same thing here. Reds and oranges. A little bit of the wood in there and some purple and there's some pinks down in here uh hopefully that jumps out and we'll get to clear on now the the crack isn't impressing me any i don't know if you all can see it in there so i found it on this side also so it runs right down here and i'm hoping that i'm going to put the resin on and i'm going to let this tension off of this so it closes up 
and hopefully some of the resin has gone in and we seal it together that way. So let me get some resin mixed up and get all the dust blowed out of here so we don't get any in it. There's lots of little air pockets I'm not quite sure we're going to get filled or not, but we will give it a try. And nope, I don't have any better brushes this week either. Thanks for the sticker, Michelle. Uh, it does have a YouTube channel. We'll put it over there in the corner. Uh, C3. Uh, I'm going to butcher this. I know it. Savine? Savine? Custom Creations? Uh, I, I will also put it in the description below. So go over and check it out. I'm sure there's all kinds of things I believe I've seen on the YouTube channel. Instagram, all that good stuff. So... Go to the channel, check it out. It's up in the, it's up in this corner. No, it's up in that corner. <laughs> it's up over here in this corner, just underneath her their profile picture there. So it's got everything, Etsy store, all that good stuff. So, anyways, yeah. If I can get this on the board here, right there. Here's your sticker. <laughs> now, this thing. <laughs> Okay, so what you didn't see was, you know, three days worth of, uh, I, I, I said that I thought that it had some moisture in it, and I ran into a lot of problems with the resin finish. So uh, at some point I just gave up. So if you look down in here, you see how she's all dimply like a golf ball. <laughs> I, I kind of went with, okay, I like that look. It's really weird. It kind of gives it an old fashion glass look like because glass moves constantly that's what it looks like and there's a little bit of braille you see the braille right here <laughs> okay now this was just this whole whole section all the way around you can see it kind of there and I sanded this down two or three times I put sanding sealer on it and the the frustration was just uh, <laughs> so I got this this last coat and I, I said, fine, okay, I'm good, that's it, I'm done, I almost didn't do a video again because of this. But anyways, let's go back to, this is the resin project. For the stained glass, there is the ribbons. As you can see, you can't hardly, I well, can see them better on this side, but um, some of the colors do show they are a little muted, and I told everybody that. But, you know, I got it done. Uh, oops, I keep, that's sticky, I just put a thumbprint in the bottom. Duh. I thought it was had been sitting in there for a few hours, so uh, don't touch that again, dummy. I did it in blue or teal, my my logo here in the coin logo. There's there's a link for where I get those in the description also. It's, it's stickers right there, <laughs> but that's in the description, so that's where you can get these if you want. Now I paint them with the teal. I think the teal stands out the best. So you can do them any color you want. Um, you know that, that's just what I like the best. So. Uh, chunk of cedar. I don't really care to mess with it. It does look look okay. We have some air bubbles in it. But other than that, we'll uh, we'll get some pictures up at the end. At the end, and go over and check out Michelle's channel here. She's got a few videos up. I think eleven. They're really short, uh, you know, under a minute long. They're just finished art, I believe. Um, what else? Anything else? Anything else? Do anything? 
<laughs> Sorry, Louie, that it fits pretty good. Louie's been noticing I have a shirt on everywhere. <laughs> it just happens to be by chance. It isn't intentional, Louie. <laughs> So, uh, what else do we got? What else do we got? So, uh, yeah, pictures at the end. You all have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. Bye.